Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is 11.06 p.m. And I wanted to make this message about uh, the recent events with President Donald Trump. Uh, first of all, when it comes down to the attacks at the U.S. Capitol, I condemn those. I believe that they were wrong. I believe they were act, uh, acts of terrorism is what I wanted to say. It's the same thing as what the Black Lives Matter organization did when they were burning down police departments and burning squad cars all across America. The only problem is our country became a bunch of cowards. They refused to condemn the Black Lives Matter group when they committed acts of terrorism. But they're quick enough to condemn the people who attacked the Capitol. In my opinion, both groups, the people who attacked the Capitol and the people who the Black Lives Matter people who attacked the police cars and the police departments are all terrorists in my book. And terrorists should be in jail. You should not get a slap on the wrist just because of what color you are. Regardless. You see, when it came to the Black Lives Matter group, the news media censored things and they said, oh, they're not protest, or I'm sorry, let me take that back. They're not rioting, they're protesting. You know, a group of people who went out there yelling, no justice, no peace. And burning down stuff. Well, I call that rioters. Same thing as the people at the Capitol who sit there and cause the damage and destruction there. Rioters, too. They're all terrorists in my book. And when it comes down to it, you look at the news media, who most certainly can't be trusted nowadays. They sit there and they say, oh, well, Donald Trump told them to go do this. No. President Donald Trump told them that, go march, that they should go march to the Capitol. He never once said that they should break in or that they should cause damage or destruction or that they should harm anybody in any way. See, another example of words that are taken out of context. Now, you see, this is important to me because I happen to be an officer actively serving this country. I have been for a couple years now. Actually, more than a couple years. You see, I started working for the United States government when I was 20 years old. And later on, I actually started actively serving it. Now, with all this stuff going on, like I said, there are some things that Donald Trump has done that I am not proud of and that I don't support. But there's also a lot of great things that Donald Trump has done that I do support. Such as, he moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, Israel, which he promised he would do. The same thing that past presidents, Barack Hussein Obama, oh, he hates when you bring up his middle name, Hussein. President Bill Clinton and President George Walker Bush. All three of those presidents promised the same thing, that they would move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem and support the Jewish people in Israel. All three of those presidents failed and lied. President Trump kept good on his promise. And yes, he has made some mistakes, but he's also done some good for this country. And you see all these people out there yelling that President Trump is not their president. Well, these are the same people who had absolutely no problem taking the stimulus money from him. Sounds like a bunch of hypocrites to me. So what I'm going to tell you is, like I said, there are some things that I don't agree with President Trump on. And that's why I'm an independent voter. I was raised Democrat. Today I'm an independent because I don't like what the Democrats are doing. I don't like what the Republicans are doing. And right now the, the Republicans sold out President Trump. They're all trying to jump ship right now to save their own ass. And you know what? It's not how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to tell you right out, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I like President Trump. I don't agree with everything he says or does, but I like the man. President Donald John Trump is my president. I'm Joseph Alexander Skorsky, and I approve this message. May God bless you. Hello again. There's just one more thing that I want to say about this. People out there sit there and they say President Donald John Trump broke the law and the Constitution. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's not forget about President Barack Hussein Obama, who sat there and broke the law himself when he violated America's policy to never give in to terrorism or to negotiate with terrorists, which, as a matter of fact, is what he did when he negotiated and released six terrorists 
for the U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergendahl, who's a traitor to this country, who deserted his post to go and join the terrorist organization. Barack Hussein Obama committed an act of treason against the United States government and the American people by negotiating with terrorists. And you don't see Congress sitting there trying to impeach him. So if Congress is going to try and impeach President John, Donald John Trump, then I encourage our country to uphold the law and be fair and impeach President Barack Hussein Obama for his crimes. As well as hold former President William Jefferson Clinton accountable for the secret deal that he made with former U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch in order to get Hillary Clinton clear of the charges for her misconduct in the Benghazi incident. Yeah, we all know how that went. And since we're talking about Hillary Clinton real quick, if you all remember, Hillary Clinton claimed that she was so sick that she could not fulfill her duties as the Secretary of State for the United States government during this Benghazi investigation. Then all of a sudden, after she was cleared of this, she made a miraculous recovery. And it's being hand-picked by the Biden administration. You know, Joe Biden, the man who's been in office for 47 years and hasn't really done much. And we all know that Joe Biden is not going to serve out his full term once he gets in office. He's going to step down claiming some type of health problem, whether it's Alzheimer's or dementia or something else, which we all know that he has some type of health problem going on. And he's going to hand the presidency over to Camilla Harris, whose family owned over 100 slaves in the past. You see, when you go to Snoops.com, normally Snoops says whether it's true or it's false. They'll either say true or they'll say false. At this time, they say it can't be proven at this time, which doesn't mean it's false. It's just that they're refusing to recognize it. You see, if Camelia Harris would have won up against President Donald John Trump, she would have lost. She needed Joe Biden and used Joe Biden to get her elected. And like I said, it's just a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen, before Joe Biden steps down and she becomes president. And she's going to screw up this country even more. Now, Joe Biden, Camelia Harris, the Senator Omar from Minnesota, a few other senators, and President Barack Hussein Obama are people who are all the real racists. You see, they're racist against Jewish people. How do I know that? I'm Jewish. Do we really want to trust our country to these people? Something to think about. Because a lot of you are going to be asking this question once you see how things get screwed up over the next four years. May God help us. I'm Joseph Alexander Sikorsky. I'm an officer actively serving our country. I'm exercising my rights to freedom of speech under the United States Constitution. I approve this message.